What's up, everybody? This is uh, 813 Wish coming at you live with another episode of uh, Walks Paths. Uh, this, I, I actually don't know what uh, what episode we're on. I think it's the 10th one. Um, I'm going to get just say it's the next episode of Walks Paths. I'll have the title up there in the uh, name of the video, and uh, so it'll be searchable and stuff soon. So let me just make this video real quick. Um be about a couple minutes worth of video footage today not really too much it's been a while since I've been on the uh, routine of walks pass uh, as your host uh, 813 wish um, my name is Bruce by the way so yeah you can call me that um, anyway uh, the reason for that is because I've been move moving around a lot lately and uh, trying to set up myself philosophically in congruence to an adjacent sub situation in the community society abroad not so much really my state but just the world over because I think it's important to have a well-renowned philosophical enlightenment um, in conjunction with a cornerstone of uh, development uh, for your uh, city that you would dwell within and it would very much be a city even if it was a jungle it would be that much urban to you um, it's a network it's a urban to network so you have to move with it sometimes you can't always be in front of the camera you have to be in front of someone so you know there's that to think about too but essentially what I want to point out today in this episode of walks past is enlightenment itself and I believe I touched upon this um, <clears throat> subject before in the uh, other videos but I'm going to touch upon it again because I think it's important to know that it is not the end result it is the beginning of an association which makes it so important and the inclination of the topic therein is to look back at the fact that you were once um, a an abundant for enlightenment not so much enlightened uh, that is an abundant for enlightenment uh, you would have been um, essentially uh, part of the catalyst instead of part of the, the solution or uh, production so um, yeah there's that there's also uh, the the gift of value in itself nobody really gives it to you uh, I don't know if you I'd like to refer to the uh, the onion field uh, ether and um, a lot of other wells that people have looked into and upon uh, for the answer to something that has been very deep to them and close kin to something they might have lost or misplaced along the journey of life that they expect to revisit sometime in the, in the, in the future. You know, this, this whole uh, abundance, age of abundance thing and incongruence to enlightenment does kind of have a similar uh, tone of uh, reunion to it um, as the unity would flourish and foster itself into a reasonable uh, solution to uh, decadence. Uh, eternity would uh, therefore have a remorseful uh, shimmer to it um, in reminiscence of um, uh, an understanding of a being or a oneness idea. Uh, this enlightenment that we all share is uh, essentially part of our personality. Um, if you uh, can understand what I'm saying, so you know you you would have a similar piece of yourself uh, instead of a similar self or a similar being um, all in one. So it would become a token of appreciation. And at first, you know, you might understand enlightenment as a uh, gift, but essentially, we all come to terms with the enlightenment as the word. So. Uh, without saying too much more about that, uh, the token of appreciation for enlightenment is essentially what I'm coining today, the, the uh, confirm uh, association of the gospel and uh, you know keeping everything written versus keeping everything spoken. Uh, essentially availability, proximities, locality, you know, what do we want for our objects in our houses? What do we do for objectivity, the feng shui of a uh, constituation in our houses, not just as a people, as a body and as a mind. So uh, I want everyone to have a good day today. Uh, thank you for joining me on Walks Pass. This has been 813 Wish, and I'm saying peace.